everyone. Welcome to Pumpkin Heart. Now today is the first of what is called a Halloween bundle. I'm going to show you bundles of my Halloween decor as well as some other interesting things that are based on Halloween and horror in itself. I'm going to go through it pretty much shelf by shelf and pretty much give you an idea of all the stuff that I have in this room. And then we'll take it from there, okay? But in the meantime, let's concentrate on this uh, particular witch. I have a fascination for witches. Not to the point that I have to practice witchcraft and stuff like that, because I don't do any of that. I just love Halloween so much that I collect everything that's related to Halloween. And witches are synonymous to Halloween, as well as pumpkins and scary monsters and all that good stuff. But anyway... Um, I've been collecting. I got Ouija boards and everything. We're going to go through all of that. And I do have a collection of witches that I do want to show you in a separate video. But anyway, this here, what I do is I normally go through the stores and I see some interesting things. Like, ooh, i got to have it. But anyway, this guy right here, she's made of like a, I don't know, like a, a resin or something. She's, she's like a little bobblehead. Okay. So let me... So you get the idea. Wing. She don't really shake like a bobblehead because the spring is probably really tense. It's got a broomstick and everything. Okay. Still got the tag on it, guys. Okay. I never took the tag off. Four ninety nine for this thing. Got it from Hobby Lobby. Okay. But anyway, that is my witch. Okay. That's what she looks like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some other stuff that I have, and. Which is part of the bundle. Okay, so keep that in mind. So we're going to switch this one out. And give you this one here, which I probably got it from the same place, but it doesn't have a tag. But it is a bobblehead. It is a mummy. Okay. Oh, get up there. There it is. I say, what, is it going to stand or what? That's very cool. I like mummies too. I, I do have some two, uh, two tall ones sitting up and behind me. Uh, eventually, when we get around the, uh, that side of the room, I'll show you what those look like. Too. But anyway, this is the mummy. Okay, it is a bobblehead, as you can see here. Okay, if the lighting is bad, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you can actually see it. Yeah, it's got a spring to it. All right, it's got a cool texture to it. All right, and that's what he looks like face wise. Okay, well, now these guys here I got from another store. I believe it's called World's End. These are classic old toys that when you wind them up, they do all kinds of crazy stuff. Which I'm going to show you right now. So hang on there, guys. All right. And it winds right down. Okay. Now, with that in mind, I'm going to show you the other one I have here. Gonna crank this one up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> these are cool. When I seen these at uh, that store, I said, oh, I gotta have these. Because obviously they're, they're horror figures. Last one. Orange pumpkin guy. Okay. Aren't they the coolest things? Okay, hang on for a second here, guys. Sometimes when you touch them, they still want to bounce around. See? That's what those look like. Okay? I got those like maybe two years ago, and they've just been sitting on my shelf. Because they got a nice Halloween feel to it. Okay, so enough about these guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get into some of these little figures. The very first one I ever bought was at Target. And I got it for like, I think... Ten dollars, maybe fifteen. I can't remember, but it is very cool looking. And here he is. I want to show you. And now I'll tell you this: they all make the same exact sound effects. But I'll tell you, these things here are very hard to find online. That is a given. Okay, so let me just kind of pull it back so you can actually see. There we go. Like that. Okay, this is the Wolfman. Now, when you press the center, the eyes will light up. So. 
you got some cool sound effects on these things. Now keep in mind what you hear sound effects wise, all the other ones will make the same sound effects, except obviously the volumes will be a little bit different, but they are the same. Put them off to the side here. Now I got a total of four of these. Like I said, they're hard to find. If I can find some more, I know there's a few more out there, but I just haven't come across any sites that actually sells them. But anyway, this guy is cool too. It's kind of like a zombie slash Frankenstein dude. You ready? Yeah, you see the volume is just a little bit different in the way that it sounds, but they are the same sound effects. Okay. Push him back. Let you watch him in all his glory. Now this guy here is kind of, is Mr. Pumpkin. He's cool, because I like pumpkins. Okay. Right, put him off to the side. And last but not least, Mr. Skeleton Guy. But like I said, I want to find some more of these, but they are hard to find. But again, I haven't did any research on these things as of late either. Okay, here we go. And this is a skeleton, okay. So they are on the same sound effect, okay. Okay, so let me just kind of spread these out a little bit here. All right, there you go, guys. These are my Halloween figures that I, this one here I found at Target. And these other three I actually ordered online. Where? I can't remember. No, actually, I, I found, I think, all three of them at, at Homes when they used to sell their Halloween stuff big time. And honestly, right now, they're loading the stores up with Halloween stuff. I need to get back out there again. Not to buy anything, but to do another walkthrough. I did, in fact, do a walkthrough back in July, early, no, June, I think it was June, when they first started, no, I think it was sometime in the beginning of uh, July, um, they really starting to load up early when it comes to Halloween, for some strange reason, they're jumping on the bandwagon when it comes to Halloween, it is probably the second most popular holiday next to Christmas, and they're loading their stores because they're benefiting from it profit-wise, okay? If they can create all kinds of Halloween stuff, people will buy this stuff, okay? These are prime examples, okay? These three here, I got them from Mad Homes, and I haven't seen them in there since, but, you know, it's just one of those things. But anyway, that's my collection for this particular bundle. Um, I'm going to be creating a certain amount of bundles here because I'm going to show you each and everything on my shelves in stages. So there will be a bunch of bundles here, and I'm going to put them in a separate playlist. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm going to keep pushing out these videos. In the meantime, this is Pumpkin Horror and you guys have yourselves a good day.